Sumeb Miner maybe and never fails to amaze. Here we have a actually a relative weight of this piece is quite heavy, but it's 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 a calcite formation, calcite crystals, which have been included with I suspect we're looking at motomite inside these. Now what I quite like about this one is this particular it's as if there's a crystal within the main crystal which has been slightly coated with maybe a brown to green motomite, most likely motomite as an inclusion. From a display point of view, I quite enjoy this particular angle where you can see those, those interesting inclusions in the, in the calcites. Um, could be displayed like this as well, so let's go all the way around on a turntable. Matrix isn't all that appealing, May, minor scratching on some of the crystal faces, so not a perfect specimen. But remember, these guys are a product of very deep mining, and as they blast, these stones go flying, and we manage to save a few. Ah, I think if we look under magnification at this particular angle, we may find some some little almost, uh, Matramat often does almost a dendritic formation. Um, we look into that section. All the way from the Tsumeb mine, Namibia, Matramite and Calcite. Uh, size was pretty good size. We're looking at, I think, edge to edge here. We're looking at about two inches and across as well, about two inches. And I don't treat my specimens at all. So if you add a little bit of liquid paraffin, you'd actually be able to remove all the scratching. Think of the Chinese fluorites, which look like sweets. They have been mainly treated, so if you give these guys a treatment, you'll remove all the scratching from the calcite. Uh, so for your own collection, to make it look absolutely perfect, that's all you do.